Hey guys, back with one quick video. Uh, this is the Rocket Storm competitive deck, the second of the two decks released uh, for Rise of the Duel Masters. This one apparently is three colors instead of the two like the, all the other decks have been. That's uh, Fire, Light, and Nature. It's got that awesome Katsurian right there. Same back, one pack inside like always. So let's get it open really quick. There's the deck in the pack. And can I get these out without ruining the cards? Rumbling Pterosaur. The very rare is a Grand Gur, which is awesome. And then the super is Wrist Rockets Tatsurian. Beautiful card. His effect is when this creature enters the battle zone and whenever it attacks, banish target enemy creature that has 2000 power or less. So that's really awesome. So, there's your three cover cards. Let's get this open really quick. Again, I apologize for the lack of production on these, but webcam is not working. All I have is my iPhone. Deal with it. So you get the same instruction on that as last time. And you get a Argos Vigilant Seer Battle Sphere. Uh, whenever it wins a battle, you get to draw a card. So this is the thing in the show that uh, Master Nigel uses like a big touch screen to command all the Striker Spheres. That's pretty cool. A Halon, just a big beefy light creature. Three Jade Monitors, cheap little blockers that have Skirmisher. They can only attack creatures. Two Keeper of Clouds, same thing. A Storm Spark Blast. It's a Shield Blast, costs six, and it just taps all enemy creatures. So this is pretty much going in every deck ever. Two Sunstalk Seeds, more Blocker Skirmishers. Two Shun Shocks, uh, they cost two, tap an enemy creature. Bowl Shock Dragon. That's awesome. I had no idea he was in this deck, actually. He is just like the old Bowl Shock Dragon. Uh, he's six, 6,000 power. Double Breaker, when he attacks, he gets plus 1,000 for each fire card in your discard pile. Freaking awesome. Two Draglides. Three Dracon Weaponsmiths. A Meteosaur, which is actually really cool. When he enters the battle zone, banish target enemy creature that has 2,000 power or less. So get rid of those cheap blockers and stuff like that. Two Rock Bites. Two Stone Swords. One Super Bazooka Volcano Don. Two Vorgs. A Brave Giant. Two Karate Carrots. A Power Surge. Each of your other creatures, or each of your creatures, gets plus 2,000 power until the end of turn. That's pretty cool. It's like a giant, uh, giant growth for magic. Or, I'm sorry, overrun. Then you get three Razor Hides. Two Return to Soils. Another Rumbling Pterosaur. And a Splinter Claw Wasp. Very cool. So that's the first starter deck that's actually three colors, which does not look bad. That actually looks like a pretty decent deck. You've got green for the ramp, light for the blockers, and red for the bashing. That's really awesome, actually. Um, I very much want to test these two decks to see how they go. But, first of all, let's see what's in this pack. I'm really bummed that I didn't get any of the promo cards. That's the only reason I went to Walmart in the first place. I'll have to see what's going on there. Can I get these out? Please? There we go. Wow, so there's a Venom Worm. Devour, when it enters the battle zone, banish target enemy creature that is level 2 or less. He looks terrifying. Another Ice Launcher. Quakes the Unclean. He looks terrifying. Uh, Plague Bearer. When this creature enters the battle zone, choose one of your other creatures. It gets Slayer until the end of turn. That's terrifying. 
um, water called water card called predict. We just look at the top five, look at the top four cards of your deck, put them back in any order. That's freaking awesome. Sprout, Veil Vortex again for the rare. No shiny this time. Sad. Barrage, it's an amazing card. Spy Mission, and Aqua Commando. So that was a okay pack. I would have liked another shiny, but oh well. So that's it for my little peek at Rise of the Duel Masters. We'll be having League tomorrow at Alien Games in Jinx, Oklahoma. We're going to be having a whole party. We're going to be showing the show. We're going to have freaking cookies with mana symbols on them. We're going to be opening packs, playing decks, doing League. It's going to be awesome. So, if you guys are in Oklahoma, definitely come by. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys.